sooner or later in every agency owner's life, the question's going to be coming up as to whether I should sell or not. And the number one question when somebody decides to sell is, what's my agency worth? My name is Kieran Therican, and I'm a managing uh, partner at Socialite Communications in Edmonton, Alberta. Now, a lot of people will focus on the income aspects of the business itself. How much income am I generating and what's the multiple? What's the multiple? And the multiple is usually something, this little number out there that says, if I take my income or my EBITDA, look that up, E-B-I-T-D-A, stands for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. You multiply by a certain number and that's the value of your business, but not so fast. That is a theoretical number. Ultimately, even if somebody agrees to that lofty valuation, they are going to go through a process called due diligence in order to verify whether the business is actually worth what you want to get for it. Now, this is where it gets tricky because there's a lot of things you can do to improve the valuation and really provide the evidence that the number that you want is the number you should get. And there's a lot of things that you may be caught on and be very disappointed about if you don't do these things to reinforce the structure that supports the valuation. Here's what those things are. The way we look at it is we look at it in the way of a pyramid. The pyramid goes like this. At the base of the pyramid is your culture, your values, your beliefs, the rules of operation that you take and deliver to not only your people in the agency, but your audience at large, the community at large. How do we do things around here? On top of the culture, you'll build your business model, the target markets that you're going after, the services that you provide, what you charge for those services, the costs that you incur. And that business model delivers a value to the people that you serve. On top of the business model, you will require systems and processes. And hopefully they're not systems and processes you're making up on the fly. They are established, they're proven, and they deliver value on a consistent basis. You'll need people, next level up, to run those systems and processes. And the people, one of the key metrics is, how long have those people been there? You know, if they're coming in and out, coming in and out, that probably doesn't speak too well of your culture, let alone your recruiting practices. And then on top of your people, you will have your clients. And your people serve your clients with the systems and processes. And those clients, hopefully they're not all over the place, no rhyme or reason, but there is a consistency to that. There is a target to that. There's a segment to that. And if all those things prove up right, you will produce a profit. And when you do those things in a way that's consistent, methodical, systematic, you will provide a very strong idea to anybody looking at buying your company that this place is actually able to deliver that same amount of value to my clients when I buy the company. And if you can't do that, well, we all have some problems then, don't we? Now, here's where it gets really easy to understand. Because we've identified these things, culture, business model, systems and processes, people, clients, and then ultimately profit, you can do and take steps to amplify, strengthen, and create structures to improve each of those levels of ability to deliver that value. And that is how you get the number for the value of the company that you want to sell.